Hello and welcome. I'm the Puerto Rican Crick and I review it because I'm cooler than the Nostalgia Crick. Before I start this review, let me say one thing. I created an intro for my show, but YouTube, being the jerks that they are, decided to m that my video can't be shown because I'm using this song, They Don't Care About Us. So truly, YouTube doesn't care about us. Okay, but in all seriousness, let me put that aside. I decided not to do the uh, music intro because in a way I felt it took too much away from the review and in a way I felt this show doesn't really need an intro. Maybe at some point later on, maybe like another season, yeah I'll do an intro but as it is right now I think it's fine. So let's skip that and let's get to the meat and potatoes of this review. Why I say meat and potatoes, I don't have any catchier phrases. But anyway. Like I did before with my Deep Red review, which, for those of you who haven't seen it, because I had the intro in there and I didn't feel like re-uploading it without the intro and all that, because that's extra work, I don't know, just click down the link below, you'll see it to my previous review of Deep Red. Alright, I'll wait. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Now, um, it's going to be in the same style of this review, I'm going to be reviewing Video Violence. Specifically the first one. This comes with Video Violence 2, but I'm not going to review Video Violence 2. I'm sorry. It's just not not that good of a movie. Sorry. But Video Violence is really good. It's one of the best shot on video horror films I've seen. It takes a premise such as this. A small out-of-the-way town whose preoccupation with violence, like rinse splatter movies, all these you know, just slasher films, all these really gross horror films. And this new couple in town opens up this video store, realizes that's happening, and the husband gets these videotapes of snuff films of people getting killed on video. And it's about him trying to figure out, you know, how to get the police involved, but the police are no help, and how he really finds out maybe the whole town is in on this. It's a really dark film. And it takes upon itself to create these outrageous special effects. Like, the gore effects they have on this are really, really cool. And I can't show you the back because, you know, it's a little bit bloody. Hold on, maybe I can show you that. There. That's about it. That's all I'm going to show you. Sorry, no more. There. But the special effects are really good. And the premise itself is really interesting. Now, the premise came to the director, uh, I believe the director's name was Gary Col Gary Corman. Yep, Gary Corman. Now, it came to him when he used to work at a video store with his parents. One day, this uh, young woman comes in with uh, two of her kids. She comes up to Gary Coleman, not Gary Coleman, Gary Corman, sorry, whatever. Goes up to, you know, Gary at the time and asked for a movie called I Just Remember Mama. Uh, she asked him, is there any nudity on this? And he was a little taken back. And he said, well, no, I'm not really too sure, but it is graphic, though. There's dismemberments, there's tons of violence in it. And he's, she's like, oh, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Just as long as there, there's any nudity, the kids can watch it. And you would not believe how mad that made him. And that's where the ideas were developed later on. In fact, in the movie, that particular scene is recreated. So there's a scene in the movie similar to that, and it was based off something that really happened. So video violence. A good, good shot on video splatter horror film. It's got a dark comedy to it. Really dark comedy. Uh, from the two uh, characters, Howard and Eli. They're quite possibly the funniest, craziest guys in this movie. and. I'm pretty sure they were meant to be intimidating and scary, but they came off as comical. Well, that's uh, pretty much the end of the review. Sorry it's short, sorry I couldn't show you any uh, movie footage. Well, because it's gory and don't get in trouble for copyright infringement. So, uh, there you go. That's the uh, end of video violence. Uh, don't know what else to say, but... I think my phone's ringing. Hold on. Oh. 
It's a producer. Hold on, guys. Yeah, hello? Uh-huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh, I'm, the next movie I'm not going to review is Aladdin. The next movie I'm going to review is, uh, is Transmorphers, The Fall of Men. Wait, what? Okay, 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 now you're going too far. First off, I would never call Aladdin the worst Disney movie ever made. And secondly, I don't want to review it because it's good. It's too good to re What? Okay, well, what other critic has the same name as me? Oh, no. It's him.